continue with our comfort plus, comfort plus you're welcome to board. Yes, you may. Alrighty, back at the airport. We're at JFK Airport right now. Um, we're really early, but might have to do that because traffic is pretty crazy here in New York. Crazy stuff. Um, either way, our flight's in a couple of hours, but at least we're in time. Uh, fishing was tough. To sum it up. Brought a bunch of new species, but. Uh, no big striper, but considering how all the other people were doing, we did pretty good. The weather was just really, really bright, really hot. Um, had to find deep water close by, and that was the only place that we could actually find them. So uh, we're off to the Netherlands now. Hopefully, the fishing will be sweet over there. So we'll see how we go. Well, we're missing a lot of footage in this video, unfortunately. A lot of it went missing. Uh, I may have deleted it by accident. It's kind of crap. That's why it took me a while to upload this video to figure out what I was gonna do. So, I'm gonna kind of fill you in what's going to happen. Uh, flew to the Netherlands. Um, we've got about a week of staying there. I'm catching up with my family. I haven't seen them in a long time. And we've got about four days to fish in total. Um, first fishing session uh, was actually with my uh, very best mate in Rotterdam. He's moved there, uh, real close to where I uh, grew up. Uh, we ended up fishing for Xander. Xander! <laughs> or as we call it, catfish bait. No, Grappie. <laughs> That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Went a little bit different than we would exp uh, than what we expected. Uh, only since the last couple of years, there's actually been a slightly growing population of Welsh catfish in there. Um, we were fishing for Xander, but Welsh catfish eat uh, lures as well. So before I knew it, I was hooked into um, a Welsh catfish. Fought it for about 15 minutes. I had 20 pound line, 30 pound leader. Fought it for 15 minutes, never saw the fish. Um, got busted off on one of the pylons. So I've got some video footage for you here. I don't know how the wide angle is. I don't know how close you can stand to get in the field. Een beetje hierheen, ja. Als je maar niet om die paal heen gaat. Zet maar even uit, want ik heb niet zoveel te houden. Ja, heel bizar. Als er een is, is het echt een mega record, maar het zou echt wel meer van kunnen zijn dit. Ik heb een paar keer omhoog en dat voelde echt alsof het, uh, alsof het niet knijden. Ja, maar je kijkt, dat is wel 
niet normaal joh. Een dijkboot. Ik wil hem wel even zien in ieder geval, maar. Ja. Now you might say you never saw the fish. Uh, how do you know it was a well kept fish? In Dutch waterways, we don't get a whole lot of massive fish. Uh, the hardest fighting fish would probably be common carp. Um, obviously, they don't eat lures, and this lure did. Uh, this fish definitely whacked the lure pretty hard. Um, it was definitely a bite. Uh, on top of that, foul hooking a carp in that spot is. Um, chance of close to zero because it's kind of brackish water and carp really don't like it um, so the only fish that could have possibly been it would have been Zande if it was one as my mate said it would have been a world record uh, northern pike that we definitely would have seen uh, in that meantime so the only thing really is uh, that left that's left is was catfish so unfortunately never saw the fish from about a couple of minutes into the fight, I pretty much knew that I had zero chance. There was one point in the fight where the fish was uh, right under me. I was hanging into the, my rod as much as possible and I just couldn't move the fish and the fish wasn't even swimming at that point. So that was uh, zero chance of happening regardless. I may have had a shot at seeing it um, if the fight would have gone slightly different, but it was uh, near impossible to pull that fish up. So. Oh well. Either way, uh, we'll go on to the next fishing session. Um, we fish the canals at my hometown in Maslaus. Now, I'll tell you a cool story about Maslaus. Maslaus is one of the most um, awesome locations in the Netherlands to um, fish. For a couple of reasons. We've got the Maas River there, uh, and in the particular section where Maslaus is located onto the Maas River, is actually um, a location where you can fish for both freshwater and saltwater fish at the exact same spot. We, on, in one spot, you can catch redfin perch uh, and zander, uh, as well as asp and eide, which are four predatory fish uh, from the freshwater. Uh, but you can also catch sea bass there, catch sea trout there. We've caught um, Atlantic cod there as well. Um, white variety of fish. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I was very lucky to grow up there because it's a very fish rich environment. Uh, but Maslows also has some great northern pike fishing. Um, very big northern pike in the Dutch canals. I've caught them up to 121 centimeters, which is a bear or just under four foot. So there's some big fish in there. Um, <laughs> the pike were going off the moment I started fishing. Uh, I missed a bear. I saw some redfin perch for me, so I tried it for redfin perch. Um, didn't hook any, but I had four big pikes smash my lure, and the hook was too small, so I couldn't get a hook up on them. <laughs> uh, but I switched over to a, uh, a big swim bait. Well, not big, it's one of the homemade ones that I brought along with me. Um, that's pretty much destroyed right now. Um, one cast and pretty much got a really nice northern pike. Oh, big one. Oh, meter fish. Oh, yeah. That's all we want. On the homemade swim bait. Sweet. I don't know how big this one is, but it's a good fish. Hasn't done a whole lot yet, so he's still going to be pretty green. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to let him go out for a bit. It's not super hot, so I don't have to worry about it too much. Good fish.
decent one. Good fish. Nou, ze groter dit. Ja. Ik zat net al vast met mijn hand. Ja. Ja, ja. Hele beste. Hij is wel een meter, denk ik. Haalt hij, denk ik wel. Ja, misschien. Hé, hey, hoe is het? Daar geleden. Oh. Unfortunately, uh, during the dehooking process, I uh, had a bit of an accident with it. I've caught a lot of northern pike. Uh, never really had an issue with it. Sometimes you hit the gill and it kind of scratches up your hand, but nothing crazy for the rest. Uh, this one uh, shook his head to the right. You can actually see it on video. Uh, he shook his head to the right and one of his um, bigger tooth on the bottom jaw actually punctured my thumb pretty badly to the point that I had to go see the doctor the next day who informed me that I was quite lucky that my tendons hadn't been shredded because I had, had to go to a surgeon to get them attached so uh, lucky for me that my trip uh, didn't end there but I did have to fish for the rest of the trip with a freaking uh, bandage wrapped up over my uh, thumb because we didn't want anything to go into the wound. It stayed open for quite long, but it's healed up pretty nicely right now. So, not too bad, but it looked pretty grim. Now I've got some footage of that right here. I taught YouTube that it's for informative purposes to show you what went wrong. So let's keep it for informative purposes. But here's a short video of what my hand looked like right after it happened. And we're back home because pike have teeth. This is lovely. Tore me up all the way from there. I'm bleeding like a... Well, I'm not gonna say that. Not looking great, but we'll clean it up. So this is the uh, swim bait that I got the pike on. You'll see it in the video. Um, the lure was already damaged beforehand, but um, that pike made it a little bit worse. There's some uh, pretty big puncture marks right there from the teeth, some scratches. So we're going to have to redo the epoxy for sure. Um, but that's no problem. It's a very good lure. Um, I made it about a year ago. So I guess this is part of a calf cast that can catch as well. Unfortunately, the calving part's not on video, but casting and catching for sure. So um, that's pretty neat. Now, um, as I said, after that one big pike, I think it would have been about it would have been close to a meter long, just over three foot. Um, after that, I really had to give up pike fishing because obviously with my uh, right hand in shambles, it uh, wasn't very easy, going to be very easy to cast with a bait caster. Um, on top of that, risking having to de-hook another pike with an injured hand is a bit of an issue. So I didn't want to risk uh, my trip for it. So that's where we're going to leave her right now. Um, let me know what you think. Next video will be the sea bass fishing in the Netherlands. And that video will be, will be really good because we caught a good bunch of them um, in the couple of days that we, well, we've only fished two days for them. Um, we caught some, uh, some nice fish. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.